If you're looking for an easy, compact and diverse way to add audio to your Arduino project, then you've come to the right place. This video will show you how to use the DF Player Mini using an Arduino. It will show a range of functions like adjusting volume, play a specific track whenever you want and much more. This video is divided into different sections, so if you're looking for something specific, then just look at the timestamps and skip ahead. Now let's start with putting some music on the micro SD card. And before we can do that, we have to format it. So I downloaded this SD card formatter from SD Association, because it was the first thing that popped up on Google, and for me it worked great. Most other SD card formatters should also work, as long as they can format your 8 to 32 gigabyte micro SD card to a FAT16 or FAT32 file system. However, before you go ahead and do that, you should make sure your micro SD card is empty, or at least there are no important files on there. Because by formatting, you automatically remove all files that are currently on there. When you are ready, you can select the right card, choose quick format and start formatting. When the formatting is done, we are ready to put some music on the micro SD card. I put three different songs and also two folders, within each folder a few songs on there. If you also want to use folders, make sure to give them a two digit name and the songs in the folders a three digit name. Doing so you can have up to a hundred folders within each folder a thousand songs. I put a few sound effects in this first folder like these cricket sounds. And in the second folder I placed this one amazing soundtrack that I made myself. Test, test, one, two, three. Please subscribe one two three and besides that i also put three different songs onto the micro sd card to be enjoyed during this tutorial now this is done we can eject the micro sd card and start with building the circuit i used an arduino nano but every kind of arduino should work make sure to place a one kilo ohm resistor between the rx of the df player and the tx of the arduino which i've set to digital pin 11. if you want to switch that to another pwm pin you can do so here. This resistor should help with noisy output from the DF player and it is also recommended by the data sheet. Now just connect any 3 watt speaker and plug in the SD card and then the circuit should be all done. Let's connect the Arduino to the PC so we can start programming. But before we can start with that, let's first download the library. We can find it under Tools Manager, Libraries and if we type DF player we can already find the version made by DF Robot. Let's install that version. This library does come with its own example sketches, which can be found in the file examples DF Robot Player Mini, but I like to use my own sketch, which can be found in the description down below. So let's upload that sketch to the Arduino. Make sure not to forget to power up the DF player like I did. And when that's done uploading, we can drag up our serial monitor to get a better look and toggle out of scroll so we can get the most up-to-date information. And as you can see, we are already greeted with this error message. Often it's enough to just press the reset button on the Arduino. If this does not work, then double check your SD card and the circuit. When you get this message, you should be ready to start testing out some music. So let's start with playing the first track by simply typing 1 and enter. You can hear that the volume is a bit low and we can increase that by sending plus signs. If we simply want to set the volume we can type V with the volume we want. Volume runs between 0 and 30 using this function so make sure to stay between those values. But as we can both see and hear, the Arduino Nano cannot supply the right amount of current to the DF player to play such a loud sound. To resolve that, let's add an external power supply and make sure to disconnect the 5 volt from the Arduino going to the DF player before powering the DF player with this external power supply. Also make sure that all grounds are connected, so from the DF player, the Arduino and the external power supply. When this is all done, we can directly hear that the sound is a lot louder and it works great without problems. 
So let's show a few more of the different functions. With F1, S1 we can play from folder 1, sound 1. In my case this were the cricket sound effects. With S we can stop the music. And with P we can pause it and also unpause it. There are a few more functions in the sketch that I will leave for you to discover on your own. But before ending this video I will quickly write some code that will play music with the press of a button. As you can see with a simple if statement, with within there a digital read, we can check if someone presses the button and when this happens the lines of code underneath will be executed. Now with this list of functions in this document, you should be able to make your own code specifically tailored to your own projects. So good luck and if you have any questions you can always place them down below in the comments. Now let's push this button one more time and thank you for watching and hopefully till the next video.